Uh, how is this being received uh, over in, uh, you know, in, in Asia, hearing something like this? Certainly sounds like threats here coming from President Trump of the military kind. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's another situation that we've sort of dealt with throughout this presidency and the, and the tenure of Rex Tillerson, where he says something, a sort of moderate, uh, statement where, you know, all through, all through his time, he's basically been pushing for diplomacy, whether it's on North Korea or Qatar or Iran. And then the president, within hours, undercuts him. I mean, uh, we, we spoke with Secretary Tillerson on Saturday night um, at the ambassador's residence in Beijing, and he made these really sort of interesting statements, basically acknowledging for the first time that they were really pushing to get to the table with North Korea, which is a major sea change. Right. Then I got on the plane back to Washington and arrived, and suddenly you know, the, my Twitter feed was blowing up with these tweets from Trump <laughs> essentially cutting his own secretary of state off at the knees. Uh, right. Certainly uh, confusing, to say the least, Nick. Uh, do you think, as you know, we were talking with Ross Krasny earlier in the program, do you think this is some a, a strategy, though, a good cop, bad cop type of strategy coming out from the White House? Uh, my sense is that it is not. Um, I mean, it, I think they, they are trying to portray it that way. For example, you know, after President Trump made his, his tweets, he had sort of a group of, of State Department uh, press people coming out and saying, hey, listen, you know, he, he, they're perfectly in, in alignment. There's nothing to see here. He's just saying that the window for diplomacy is closing. But, you know, anyone who would sort of suggest that this is good, good cop, bad cop, and, you know, it's part of a coordinated strategy, uh, you know, none of those people were in the room with the secretary at the ambassador's residence when he sounded very hopeful. You know, he was saying, stay tuned. I just want to get to the table and sort of ask them, what do you want to talk about? I mean, this is clearly something he thought a lot about. And then to have his own president say, you know, this is a complete waste of time. Uh, maybe there's a coordinated strategy there. I don't see it that way. And, I, you know, I, I don't think the secretary does. He basically sees the president's tweets as sort of something that needs to be dealt with. It's sort of a circumstance that you wake up to in the morning and you need to work around it. That's, that's his attitude at this stage.